as a result of the swift collapse of the Israeli military bases and the surrender of the Israeli soldiers, chaos prevailed in the scene where civilians found themselves in the middle of the confrontations. We have breaking news out of Israel this morning where Hamas has launched a surprise attack within Israel's borders overnight. Surprise attack by the Palestinian militant group Hamas, the biggest in recent years. Thousands of rockets have been launched into Israel from Gaza and dozens of militants appear to have entered southern Israel. Israel, we are in a war. Not in a war, not in a war, in a war. The Pentagon announcing the USS Gerald R. Ford carrier strike group is heading to the eastern Mediterranean. Now that includes the Navy's newest aircraft carrier, the Ford, and cruisers and four guided missile destroyers. The United States stands with the people of Israel in the face of these terrorist assaults. Israel has the right to defend itself and its people. This is not a moment for any party hostile to Israel to exploit these attacks to seek advantage. The world is watching. Говорится о том, что вот в отношении сектора газа могут быть предприняты меры военного и невоенного характера такого же плана, как и во время блокады Ленинграда в ходе Второй мировой войны. Surprised if part of that tremendous wealth that they just accumulated went into all of a sudden watching this level of aggression. Israel has the power of the Palestine. The Palestine has the power of the Palestine. And the Palestine has been in the past half of the century. It has been in the past half of the century. It cannot continue to continue. We announced the start of the operation Al-Aqsa Flood and we announced the first strikes of this operation targeted enemy position and airport and military fortification. During the first 20 minutes, we sent over 5,000 missiles. The residents of the besieged enclave of Gaza faced a night of death and destruction as Israeli warplanes launched a series of airstrikes. Over 330 people have been killed and over 2,000 others have been injured. Israel topraklarındaki sivillerin öldürülmesine açıkça karşı çıkıyoruz. Aynı şekilde Gazze'deki masumların hiçbir ayrım gözetilmeden sürekli bombardımana maruz bırakılarak katledilmelerini de asla kabul etmiyorum. The High Commissioner is calling for an immediate stop to the violence and appealing to all sides and key countries in the region to de-escalate to avoid further bloodshed.
Energy Ministry reports its Seoul power plant has run out of fuel, forcing it to shut down after Israel cut off supplies. The message that I bring to Israel is this. You may be strong enough on your own to defend yourself, but as long as America exists, you will never ever have to. We will always be there by your side. And I stood proudly with our friend and ally, the state of Israel, and I will do it again. You heard about today, the Hamas, Hamas terrorist invasion. Canada unequivocally and in the strongest possible terms condemns these terrorist attacks perpetrated by Hamas. We stand with Israel. This is Prime Minister Modi's reaction uh, to the attack on Israel. He says, and I quote, we stand in solidarity with Israel. In the backdrop, Iran's president and uh, the Saudi crown prince held a phone call yesterday to discuss the Israel-Hamas conflict. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! No, 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 no. Third, the operation targeted only Israeli military bases and compounds. We here would like to stress that there were clear instructions from the top commander of Al-Qassam brigades to avoid targeting civilians or killing them. And many released videos showed how Al-Qassam fighters were keen to avoid harming civilians. Netanyahu bears responsibility for this Israel-Gaza war.